Okay, guys, it's ready. Let's give it a taste. Come on. Hello, guys. It's me today, your fantastic Deva. I'm here to show you guys another recipe on how I make my yam boss. So this is the yam I will be using. You can see it's wet. I've already washed it. Make sure you always wash your yam clean so you not use that dirty yam to touch your, your yam. So I'll be peeling the yam. Then I'll be showing you guys every other thing I'll be using on this recipe. So let's get started. I don't know why I don't like using bigger knives. Hmm? I'm used to smaller knives. Okay. So, okay, we are done with that. So let's give it a wash. So guys, as you can see, our yam is nicely washed. Okay. So next, we'll be cutting our meat into a smaller chunk. I like it to be this small. I can see smaller sizes. I love I love working with the smaller knife. I don't know why. I feel secure with it. Okay guys, we are done. So this is an olive oil. I will put in a little bit of olive oil like two tablespoon okay. at the same time i'll be scooping tablespoon of margarine for that buttering flavor you guys can see so in our diced onion Two to three minutes until it becomes translucent. After what we put in our dice mean Don't forget it should be a little chunks like this for that bite. Okay. One mangy cube. So we have yet garlic ginger curry thyme a uh, beef uh, season okay so let it fry a little bit then i will put in some pepper fleas as you can see you put as you are your family can take okay it's good we have that a little bit Spicy in it. Wow. Look at the aroma in this cooking, guys. So lovely. Yummy, 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 yummy. So we close to our light to cook. We give it like two to three minutes. Okay. So guys, let's check on it to see that the juice is up. So at this point in time, we'll be putting our yam. Our yam is well washed and cut into a little chunks. So that is it, guys. So we'll be putting our Sauce to taste my water be coming in. Okay, guys, it is quite some time. Let's check. As you can see, it's stuffing. You see, as I'm even scooping my my spoon, the yam has started uh, breaking. And you see there's no more liquid so you need to gauge the water that you'll be putting to boil the yam and everything okay 
you see there's no water, no juices. Okay, guys. So I'll be scooping them out. Mmm. Yummy. So if you have your potato matcha or mixed matcha, you can use it, but this is what I'll be using that I have. You don't have to really match it to smooth consistency. Just you can also add a little bit of gloves inside. You see? So at this point we will put in our milk for that milky flavor. Okay, succulent taste. Get what I mean? You just have to put it gradually. Hmm? Okay. So it should not be that too salt. You can as well make use of any protein meat you have but Not like beef. Okay. That's it, guys. Right? So our first result okay, for frying. Okay, guys. The oil is already set. We put it on high, but before we start, we will put it on the medium. This is our breadcrumbs. I will be using flour, then mix. But if you can as well use egg, you understand, but I decided to use me on this particular one. So I will start by molding the, the yam balls, okay? I will be going on the egg shape. Look at that guys. You see the meat are still intact. Okay. So I'll be doing that to the rest of the dough. You can also make different shapes. You can also make use of angles if you don't feel comfortable using your hand. But I feel comfortable using my hand. Okay? You know kids love fantasy. Okay? Okay guys. Wow. This is it. You can play around with it and make different designs of your choice. Guys. It's ready as you can see. You can as well play with it, make different, different uh, designs or shape of your choice. When you have kids, you know, kids will always love things like this because they're world of fantasy. You see? Okay. So we'll start mixing. First and foremost, I'll start with the egg shape. While we'll be using this, and first of all, we'll go to our our flour. Okay. As I have said before, you can as well make use of egg, but I will be using milk. Okay. Then I use the other hand to go. You can as well go back again if you really want that portion around it. Okay, go back again. our milk and the other hand I'll put with our bread crumbs. Okay. 
Try this at home. Your kids will love it. Look at that guy. Wow. So we repeat the same thing for the rest of them all. Okay. So guys, we are done. So we'll start frying. at how beautiful it is wow you see that guys yummy let me know in the comment section if you'll be trying this at all if you love it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see Subscribe to my YouTube channel, support the family, and let's move this channel to a higher place, a higher dimension. Okay, guys, support this house. We love you and we appreciate you. To my old and new subscribers, I say may God bless you all for turning back to watch my video. To my new subscribers, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. I enjoy the goodies of this channel. We will bring you more good things, more variety, fun videos. Okay. Thank you very much. See, it's ready. Look at that, guys. Wow, your kids will love this. Big time, guys. You see that? Thank you, guys, for watching to this time. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share to your families and loved ones. To my returning subscribers, I say may God richly bless you all for coming back. To my new subscribers, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please smash that red button and don't forget to press the notification bell beside it. So whenever I upload any video, you will be the first to be notified. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. May God richly bless you all for watching my video. Bye-bye.